Yo, 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 it's your boy BJ from Brusky and the s Hold on. Focus up for me. Yeah, it's your boy BJ from Brusky and the Spot. And right now we about to react to Carmen and Corey Pritchard adjust cheating allegations. You know let's just let's just see what's let's let's see the vibe from as a I'm I'm a I'm a former cheater and cheaty. So I've cheated and I have gotten cheated on. So let's see what niggas is talking about. Cause nah, like we... you have a beautiful wife, bro. Like, a beautiful wife who like puts up with a lot of stuff that she probably don't even tell you about. You know what I'm saying? So why why did you even cheat? Well, I'm listen. I'm I'm gonna be real. I ain't be real, real with me. Be, this a real conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm a, first of all. Niggas, hold on, right back. Be real. I ain't be real with this. me. Be, this a real conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm a, first of all, I'm a dude. I do not start it with that. Cause no. she, I'm a dude. I'm a nigga. I like, 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 where the only so the only answer to cheating is that you have no self control, you have no discipline, and that you're very weak. That's the only way I could I could think about cheating because when I cheated on on girls, I had no self control, I had no discipline, and I was weak. It, bro, that's the simplest way to to explain cheating, bro. There's you can. I'm, I'm gonna see what you about to say. No, 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 no. He can do the same thing. Like, huh? She could do the same thing. Let me tell you something. I done met a lot of girls that have and they have been with me and told it they were somewhere else and they believed it. And sadly, I still went up along with the mission. You know what I'm saying? And the guy don't know nothing about it. Right. Right. I'm not gonna. I don't know what. I'm not. Know, I'm not sure what that had to do with with what she just said. I'm. I'm not really. I'm not really sure. Like you know, I'm just trying to understand. Like what? What did that statement really have to do? With anything that she with with, alright. Reason I've been like this because I don't want to. I know I ain't, I ain't gonna say this, but when I was growing up, the majority of all my relationships that I was loyal in, I got cheated on. I was the most sweetheart guy ever. I, my whole time. Alright. Alright. Fucking god, the trauma. The trauma excuse. Hey man, I don't judge niggas. I don't blame niggas or whatever. If I'm trying to say we all been there, I've been, I've been him. I was him. I had the same excuse, bro. We all had the same excuses, bro. And it just don't work. The, 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 I was a nice guy. My heart got broken. I was always a nice guy. Every girl I've been with cheated on me, so I'm a cheat on every girl I'll be with now. It just don't work because it sounds stupid, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, it sounds dumb. It's because like, you know something's wrong. I'm not gonna say like you. Of course, you young, so you you gonna do dumb shit. Cause you have no self control, you have no discipline, and you're fearful. That's a fact. That's the only way I believe you can cheat on somebody, bro, is when you're young. Is when you're you have no self control, you have no self discipline, and when you're fearful. Cause like I said, when I cheated on girls, I had all of those three things, or I wasn't getting fully stimulated. At all those extra shit, but that really got that that really at the same time. If you talk to your girl. And she don't fix it, and she fix it. You can, you, can, you can still break up with somebody, bro. That's still a that's still a thing you can do. You can still leave somebody, or get, take a break, or come back another time. Though that's this is the fourth one right here. You're not getting you stimulated right. But if you're not getting stimulated right, you tell somebody, and they don't want to change it. You give them a chance, they don't want to change it. That's when you got to pack up and leave, or tell them you want to break or something like that. But the main three right here: no self control, fearful, and no discipline. That's the main three why niggas cheat, bro. No cap. No cap. That's why niggas cheat every single time. You know, you can say you you, you can use the trauma, cause I've used that. I've used the same lines before. I'm trauma, and I wasn't getting treated right, so I did this and I did that. But that really don't like that. Really don't. It don't fix. Like it's not a valid excuse, bro. Like cheating. Like bro, there's no there's no valid excuse to cheat, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like you can't you can't explain yourself out of cheating, bro. Cause everybody's gonna say just leave. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. So like. 
Bro, there's really no cause there's really no valid excuse. Like the only way you can cheat on somebody is if you cheat on, like no what nobody can't force you to cheat. You can't be like, oh, she made me cheat on her. Like, bro, that's that's impossible. It's not like she put a gun to you and say cheat, bro. So you can't really say someone made you cheat or trauma made you cheat. Nigga, you made you cheat because you just know how to do you know you, you just you know for me, I I'm I've been I've been there. I'm just saying I'm from a nigga that I've been there. I know I've been there. No, yeah. then you should have got back with them girls. And she no. don't miss, but don't no. cheat on her. Listen, Carmen's so perfect. I can't believe she never cheated on me. I had, I was trying my best to find something. I you did something. Ain't no way you ain't never cheated on me. I just cause that's my son Corey got mad trauma. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, seeing if you gotta think about me growing up, I never seen nobody be a hundred percent loyal. But I feel him though. I feel him. I see my I hate to say this, but life is life. I see my mom talk to somebody besides. My dad or the guy I should talk to, I see my dad talk to somebody other time. Facts, facts. Girl, I just seen family, people that the girls that did to me. So, you know what I'm saying? It, I thought it was normal. This was, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of life. But when you get to social media, everything's supposed to be perfect. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You That's a people, fact. When you get to social media, everything is supposedly, supposedly perfect. Everything's supposedly perfect. And people, and it's crazy that people on social media view you as perfect because they're so fucking stupid that they really, they really, they will view your life as unproblematic, perfect, or whatever. Because most of them be young, so they be having this different type of thing. But even the mature people be like, oh, nah, they're not going through, they don't got no problems. They got money, they're rich. They don't got no problems. Like, bro, everybody got problems. The richest nigga got problems to the brokest nigga got problems. Problems don't leave nobody. The, 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 the best way to handle life, as I've learned from the book about the subtle art of not giving the fuck is is about figuring how, figuring out how to solve your problems the best and easiest way. Cause no matter what, broke, rich, you have a house, poor, homeless, you're gonna have problems either or whatever you want to look at, you're gonna have problems. Big, small, ugly, whatever you're gonna have problems. They don't argue. They don't go through nothing. They don't break over each other. Like, they, but okay, I feel like you're you're in a public space. Like you're in a public space. You're in a public eye though, Corey. Like people are going to expose you if facts. you cheat. Facts. Like it's it's literally probably like. But yeah, I, don't, I, I never consider, I never consider that she know free free because like me, me and her said we ain't together, whatever. It's like okay, cool. She be the one. Listen, we'll say some stuff. I'm telling you, we say stuff to each other, and like you, we be like okay, I right, what it is. You feel yeah. me? And, if, and, and then a couple of days go by, and, and we realize that ain't what we want. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. realize, so my nigga, my nigga Corey. Be, so basically, <laughs> basically Corey saying that. The couple of the couple of days that him and Carmen break up, my son go to get some pussy. Realize. I'm about to say, Carmen, did you do you feel like it was cheating? Well, we had the discussion like multiple times, like between me and him, and like some like I think like to people and for people it's like, oh y'all can just say break up because y'all are married. So you know, I had to like it was one time we was having like a deep deep conversation. So I had to break it down to him and tell him like the times you did some stuff, we was together. We just got into an argument. Right. So, an argument, you know, that's like the thing of him saying like, well, shoot, me, me and you got into it. And, you know, so I kind of. So my son, <laughs> Corey's a movie. So Corey was using them arguing as an excuse to go cheat on, to go basically put his hot dog on other buns. And saying to 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 to, to, ex, to explore his option to explore his bun options with his sausage. He was trying to explore other options for the for, for his for his sausage with other buns, because him and his girl had an argument. Now Corey got it. He's one of one. Down each time, and I come out like I've never heard a nigga in my life tell me like, "Yo, me and my girl argue. I'm gonna cheat on her." Like that was crazy. Time we were just separated. You know, like we was really like we was in different houses type of thing. Okay. okay. And, it was really like I, I told him I said I do consider it cheating because right. you know some stuff we'll be on best terms like we good and stuff but on his end he thinking you know like you know we just a little off or I'm not fit in the relationship or whatever you know which I feel like every couple goes oh, okay, so. with one of you know one of them not feeling the relationship a hundred percent like the other person is so mm -hmm. that's when you come on the same page so when I broke it down to him I said I do consider it cheating and I told him that. Very like honestly, I was like, I do. You can say whatever, but I'm gonna stick to. I do think, you know, I do consider it cheating because of how it happened and when it happened. 
it just gave me a like you know flashback of like okay during this time was this and i'm the type of person i like going through messages pictures to make sure that the date he didn't even line up i mean yeah. <laughs> uh, i'll show him that and i was very open i was like you see this day okay on this day you see what we're talking about <laughs> right exactly like dude you know? but yeah. how, like so as people want to know with all of that why did you why have you and did you say after the cheating when it comes to that, it's like I can go so long because it's really deeper. It's like my answer is deeper than what I can just say to me. You know? I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like certain girls, like even certain guys, bro. I've done it too, where like a girl cheated on me and I've stayed. <sighs> bro, that shit doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work, bro. Never, it never works. When I when I when a girl cheated on me and I stayed. Bro, the respect is, bro, you have, that's like the lowest level, bro. I literally, bro, I li like, I literally violated you in the most violated way. Like, I, me and you, you my girl. Like, I, are you, I'm, and she's my, she was my girl. I'm, I, I, I'm hunting. And I cheated on you, you cheated on me. And you take me back, bro, I literally violated the, the, the most precious promise in a relationship. I love you and only you. I'm going to be loyal to you no matter what. I violated the you whatever that that piece is violated, bro. There's no way you could get no respect from that, bro. Your rest the respect. It, it, you take a nigga back, you take a shorty back, bro. The respect is gone. I'm not saying that y'all might y'all y'all can still be together. Y'all might y'all might even go for forty years or but that nigga's still gonna cheat on you, bro. And that girl's still gonna cheat on you, bro. She's still gonna cause like bro that respect the that respect the boundary and the respect is gone. Like it's gone like far gone bro you can't tell me that that if someone do something to you and you take them back that they're gonna respect you again unless they got kids or something then you got no choice but like if you if that's your girl or whatever then you take it back after you cheat you that's kind of ham like but then again they got kids and shit it's different but then again that don't mean she gotta be with bro you feel what i'm trying to say right like the thing is because when i met corey it was more so like, I already knew what type of man he was, you know, because when he brought me in, people thought I was just like another him, you know? Got it. So, so it's like with time. I, I was pretty outside, though. <laughs> so, you know, with time. Corey, we need to talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like with time, I started understanding him. And it was like way before, like, even any shit had happened, you know, I tried to understand him. And he just gave me like, I open like I open my eyes to know that like through the relationship it will be different chapters every time you know yeah. and it's like the sweetest guy ever like literally and I feel like because of who he really is it's kind of he, he's sweet but he might cheat <laughs> that's okay he's sweet but he might cheat like that's that's it that's what that's what you got to say he's sweet I know he gonna cheat but he's this nice guy you know I'm not I really know people that like that like I be know girls that 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 has accepted the fact that their boyfriend is gonna cheat on them, but like he he loves them, I guess, and he treats them good. So they like nah, like I know he might cheat on me, I know he might be having all the holes, but like I know like I'm the main girl, I know he. he... But I don't be known. I, I, I don't know how that work, bro. I don't know how that shit work, bro. Uh, whatever that shit sounds cap. Like I I guess, bro. If 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 it makes sense to you, bro, it's your life, bro. But that shit sounds dumb. That's like me. That's like me telling the bros like, yeah, bro, my girl like she be she be she be chilling with other niggas and shit and getting and niggas be putting their hot dog in her bun. But like I know she love me though, bro. Like for me, I'm I know she love me. She always come home to me. She always cook for me. She you know we do stuff together. We she do she buy me stuff and stuff like that. But she might cheat on me. But like she's a, she's a, she's amazing, bro. Like she's a little amazing girl at heart. She just might cheat on me. That sounds dumb as hell. <laughs> because he used that advantage to do what he did with females, you know? Right. And he can be like the most sweetest guy ever. He can put like a smile on your face throughout the whole day. Like he can just be the perfect man that it will have you. Well, no cap, I feel like any nigga that any, any girl, any guy, any guy a girl loves or likes could put a smile on your face by doing nothing, bro. Like bro, we, as men, we all, we all know girls that we met that like us so much, you, you bro. You 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 could buy her. You could buy her a a, pay, a plate of rice, bro. That's only rice, bro. And give it to her. She's like, oh my god, you got me food. She might love you even more. I'm trying. There's you meet girls that are so. Let me not say stupid. 
they're not they they, 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 they their brain is not heightened or they, they don't get it that they 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 just they they so they so emotional that they don't un, they don't they can't grasp the fact that it takes more than just what I give you or what I am or the type of nigga if I cheat on you if I if 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 I if, if I'm not emotionally stimulating you in the ways you need to be emotionally stimulated, then there's no way you can you're supposed to love me, bro. <laughs> no cap. Just because I'm here, I might buy you something, I might kiss you a little, might have sex with you, might do a little something, something here for you. It don't mean that I'm worthy of love, gang. I'm I'm doing a bare minimum. And you and but cause you so you so dumb in love, my bare minimum is making you happy as hell, which is ridiculous. Go trials like this butterflies and just everything so i feel like out of everybody or like even the females they got up like you know came into the picture and stuff they don't know him the way i do you know like i feel like i know these men a hundred percent i feel her though the moment he make a face i know what the face means the moment he make a noise i know why he made that noise so i feel like okay can nobody really tell me who he is based on all the mistakes he's made because i sleep with this man i uh, bro, all right. Mistakes, but I feel like it's a certain age where mistakes don't count, bro. Like, nigga, you be know niggas be know what they be doing. Like, I'm trying to say niggas know what they doing. Like, every nigga know what they doing. I'm not saying like, of course, like he a nigga. I probably didn't have the self control that I have now when I was 19, 20, 21. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing, bro. So it's not really a mistake. And it's not really my fault. It's just that I didn't have the self control to control myself, so I wouldn't really blame myself. Even though it's, I, I'm wrong, in fact, I'm blaming myself. If you cheat, you're wrong. Like, cause, cause you don't have no self control. That's really all it is, bro. If I'm trying to say, I really, we, we, we try to put other spins on it and try to make it the anything different, but niggas don't be have no self control. That's what it be all it be. With this man, I eat with this man, and it's like I know the real, real core. You know what I mean? Right. So I feel like in every situation we went through. I saw the pain in him when out there, like when he got exposed. I saw the pain. Nobody saw it. Everybody just looked at him like, "You just another dude that cheats." Like all men cheats, and you know, like. So you saw the pain, pain in him, but Corey, did you see the pain in her? Yeah, of course. That's why she's still here. I mean, I don't, man. Listen, that happens and stuff. Is like. They don't smile from you know what I'm saying? Like even she know even my son Corey smiling. if we ever break up, you know what I'm saying? My love for her still stands that she got she the she the mother of my, my children, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I always like eat off camera because like when when it gets serious, the real me, I don't I don't really live for the internet. I do what I have to do for the internet because I'm a social media influencer, you know what I'm saying? But the real me outside of social media, she you know the, the conversation that we have in you know, private, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I always be, like, you know, I be, I, you know, man, you know, we, us guys, man, I ain't gonna lie, us guys, sometimes we, we get, you gotta think about it. Y'all do know? dumb stuff. Listen, man, <laughs> the difference, though, the difference, you young, you successful, you rich, come on, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you in the, you in the public eye, like. I know, but I hate <laughs> that as a society, we keep making that okay because you got money and you're, right. you're handsome and you got a beautiful wife. Like, and I'm not, I'm saying this out of love. Like, I want us to get to a point, like, even though y'all don't want to be seen as goals, y'all are. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Like, Facts. as much as y'all are transparent, people like that because it's like, okay, y'all's relationship look like mine. Exactly. You know, but Corey, like, they're seeing you as, the standard, Carmen, they're seeing you as the standard. Like, so y'all gotta show people that y'all are goals. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't mean to preach at y'all at all, but I'm just saying, like, I. Because, I, that, wanna... I mean, that's kind of like, that's kind of what you take on as you come on the internet as an influencer. You kind of take on, like, how things are supposed to go. I'm not saying, like, that's your job to, like, show a nigga how to live his life or show a nigga how to be better or show somebody how, to, how things are supposed to go. But, like, that's kind of the role you naturally take on, like, as an influence. You, you naturally take on, like, a big brother, big sister, father, mother, whatever role. Because, bro, if you're, if you got 20,000 followers, someone looks up to you. So, they're going to look at you as, like, like, as influence. You feel what I'm trying to say? Because some niggas really don't have nobody in their life that influences them the right way. So, if you're doing something they like to do and, and you're doing it right and they, it's working for you, they're going to look up to you. So I'm not saying you, you can't me mess up, you can't make mistakes, you can't do dumb shit, because everybody do dumb shit. If I'm trying to say this, what it is. But I'm saying, like, 
like I said, you got to hold yourself to a certain like I'm an influencer. I can't do certain things, or if I do certain things, I gotta make I gotta, I gotta keep it under wraps, or I gotta make sure it's done a certain way because no matter what, there's a little nigga that's looking up to you. That 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 you. you feel me? It's, I'm not saying you have to, but I'm saying that's the thoughts you gotta have. If I'm trying to say thoughts that I didn't I didn't have when I was doing what I was doing. Feel what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, when man, like I want to see yeah. a beautiful black couple and Latin X couple, like. You know what I mean, like, come on, y'all. Like, I want to see y'all win. I probably will cut this part out, but I just want to see y'all win. And <laughs> she capped. I just want y'all. Oh, you just cap like that. that life. Don't cap like that. I'm married. I'm married too. Oh, that God. is not easy. I'm married with a toddler. Like, it's not easy. Like, and yeah. I don't even have the fame and the money and all of that to add to it. So I get it. But like, <laughs> y'all are too beautiful. It's, it's definitely difficult when you're when you're when you're rich. I tell you, we 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 on we on we on now. People just don't know, but it's a lot coming you know, with this music. Like what's gonna happen in May next month? Right. We're gonna take off and like you know what I'm saying. We we in a week like we listen. Just it might sound crazy, but you gotta think we are good. Can't y'all good. Coming. Y'all good. I I believe you. Y'all listen. look good. Y'all look happy. Um, and I I can see what you mean in terms of like. Couples get in arguments all the time. Y'all might cut each other out and then be like, what you want to eat? Like, you know what I mean? But it's just the I fact that y'all stuff is so public. Liz, I ain't trying to make it okay. You know what I'm saying? By no means necessarily make you think I'm, I'm trying to say that always oh, normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know it's not right. So, you know, it's just that I've been, you know, I've been how I've been like for a long time. So it's like, that's just how I protect myself. Like, for example, like, I, I've been heartbroken so many times. It's like, yeah. I had to oh, uh, okay, bro. Fuck. You you been with Carmen for how much years, bro? Since I was a little nigga, it's like five years, gang. You telling me you still haven't healed from that heartbreak from five years ago? Like I I bro, I get it. I get it. Heartbreak shit. I get it, bro. I get it. We I I've, I've I've done it too, bro. But it's like my nigga, when are we gonna stop using this as, as an excuse to just do dumb shit, bro? Trauma. My, my mom my mom didn't love me, so I don't I can't love a girl. Like bro, stop using this as an excuse. Fix if you if you know your problem, bro. Fix it, bro. If you know you got trauma, bro. Fix it, bro. If you know you have issues, bro. Fix it. Stop using it as an excuse when you do dumb shit and then say that's why I did dumb shit. When you know when you know your problem, if you got bro, just fix the problem. So when you so you don't got to do no more dumb shit. Or when you do dumb shit, it's not as it's not as severe because you you, you kind of already control. Okay, I do the girl in case something happen. It won't hurt me no more because I'm tired of going through this. So I protect. I just learn how to manage myself when I go through things like me and this girl gonna break up. I'm already prepared on how I'm gonna be still successful. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna fall off. You know what I'm saying? If I'm always ten steps ahead of the game, so like the way I move, I move in defense mode at all times. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody out here for me. You know what I'm saying? And then whatever I'm going through, and nobody gonna help me. I know that as a man. So it's like. People are judging. Yeah, and no, though. You got the person that's going that's what to judge. That sounded so crazy right there, bro. That sounded so crazy next to your wife. Like, I'm not going to lie, gang. <laughs> Shit like that sounds crazy next to your wife. It sounds crazy next to your wife, gang. I'm not going to lie. Shit be sound a little crazy. This shit sound a little crazy. That's like me sitting sit, sit next to my mom and be like... I know if something happened, nobody gonna be there for me. My mom has always been there for me. So that's like me saying that's my mom. She be there for the whole fucking time. It just sounds crazy. What I'm saying is the times, the times when we be going through stuff, yeah. and it be like we're gonna break up or whatever. Bro, I can, I can, I'm telling you this right now. After all the stuff that y'all have went through and been in the public eye, these arguments, y'all are like breaking up. Cat, so, yeah, I'm about to say, like. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying back then, like. Okay, yeah. okay. Back then, you feel like how that's how I that's was. Your I, I was doing certain things. I was doing back then because like I was just how I was moving. But now it's like we we been through. We had went through something. Um, Growth, Corey. Some re- not not recent, but like a while. It was a while ago. Something that had hit. But it's like we came to the conclusion. Like we had to talk. And then like, not too long ago, they just had on the internet when she got on the internet with the Twitter thing. It's all crazy. She went so in like, on you, man. <laughs> this, no, no, to be honest, it came out a, of nowhere. I'm no, 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 I'm gonna be honest. As I was tweeting, like, if you watch my Twitter, my Twitter is full of, like, quotes every day, like, whatever. So, that day, as I'm posting, I'm just, like, you know, expressing my feelings, but I'm asking, like, have y'all ever felt such and such or with the woo, you know? So. I also get why why, why people 
always put their emotions like their their especially when they especially their negative emotions on the internet. Like you, you can post your happy shit all day. Like you like post your negative shit too, but like if you have a partner and you're posting certain things that are gonna make your partner look bad, why are you posting it, bro? Let's go talk to your partner, bro. Or talk to your your friend or some shit. Like why do why do we come onto the internet with negative things when we have a partner? I've done it before, so I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, it's stupid. I've done it. It's stupid. It's very stupid. Go to your partner. Go to your... Nobody's going to make you talk to you. Stop. Because if, if what you're posting has the ability to make somebody else look bad because that's your partner, bro, you're violating, bro. Especially because... I don't know. I do have pension ends that during that time of me, we didn't... He started posting negative things that he'd been out in the club. So he posts him having a good time. He's mm. out and about. And, You're networking. And I'm on Twitter, you know, asking sad questions. Right. So then people start putting like two and two together. Yes. Have F, oh, yeah, we're really going through this type of thing. But I'm going to be honest with you. The only thing that, that was real was that I did tell him, you know, I just feel like I just needed a little bit more support during that time. Has a, yeah. I, I told him, I said, I feel like I'm going to depression mode right now. And I don't want to feel alone, you know. Right. So we talked about it or whatever. But I said, you know, I was I was communicating with my supporters. So as he posted that, and then he went live and said like personal and private stuff, and he just put it out there because I understood that he got at because it was picking on him. Has like, oh, he the bad guy. He got this girl over here just had a newborn. Yeah, well, so he looked at bad. I so, mean, for you was getting the tattoo a few days after she gave birth. Like I, I need to talk about I, that. Mom would tell you. I have been the most supportive husband ever, like, but she know, listen, her mom was here. Her mom was hooked outside, time, right? My mom was here, I hope that was here. My mom left. I had a lot of work I had to get done. Like, I, I had to go out to shop. I had to get, I got, I got to get done, you see what I'm saying? Right. So I told her, I said, babe, listen, while your mom here, she helped you with the baby, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that time to go handle my business out and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And while your mom here, she helped you, then when she leave, I've been got my stuff done. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, it's like going to the club. Listen, I don't go to clubs for fun. Okay. That's not my sport. You know what I'm saying? I don't do all that. Like, I never in my life liked the club for The only reason I go to clubs is because of, I'm a social media influencer. So I go, it's like marketing where I just put my right. face in that. It's work. Exactly. You feel right. me? Like, I promise you, if I didn't have to go to a club, I would not. Exactly. You know? Right. I think it's just the fact that, to your point, like, y'all stuff happens so simultaneously. Like, I think it wouldn't, I don't think anyone would have noticed that you weren't at home if you wouldn't have went live. It showed that you were getting the tattoo. <laughs> so I think uh, that's the reason why. It's just because, like, because yeah, our life is so I, transparent, though. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's what's really should be. These folks that we just got to be together 24-7, you see what I'm saying? Right. Normal lifestyle. That shit like beast, bro. Not a lot. You should help me live a better lifestyle. That's all. Being a social media nigga. What happened was so normal, but it was that just shit like, a little different, the wrong bro. Like, be, being a social media person with a girlfriend, that shit a little different, bro. That shit is diff- that it's a little different, bro. I can't lie, a little different. Like, so I feel niggas on that point. Girl, I was a he live, and when he went live, that's when like at first I understood because I was like, okay, people is picking on him, like which is nothing new. Like you know, people right. go automatically think that. If I post, I'm saying, I'm so sad today, poor Peter today, you know? All right, so, yeah. I understood that part, but when he started making it seem like I got on there to bash him, I had to go back and read my tweet and say, wait, I didn't say nothing about you. I'm not bashing you. These are the people that's right. taking the wrong. That's what made me, you know, trying to clarify that. I'm like, wait, did I get on here and bash anybody? Because I don't remember doing that. Have you ever thought about, like, just on each other and getting clear? No cap. <laughs> no, we not both pride. have. Yeah. A pride, which we working on now. Okay. They got good. pride. Yeah. They said they have pride. They still got pride. I mean, everybody would work differently, so I'm not saying that. But oh, I, I, I wish nothing but blessings on Carmen and Corey. Hope they figure shit out. Hope they become better. Hope they continue to grow. Continue to love each other and figure stuff out. You feel what I'm trying to say? You know, nothing but love and guidance to them. You know, to their family. You know, feel me? You know, just you know. Nothing but blessings and shit, you feel what I'm trying to say. Hope they continue to grow and become better and just keep making money. Holla at me, the bros, you got the spots. Deuce.